Pat and I came along um, September the 15th, yeah. was it? Oh, right. You're the one yeah. with the date. Mm. Sunday morning. And was it? We were with some of the group of uh, hippies, dropouts, whatever. Yeah, hippie dropouts, yeah. And uh, <laughs> it was Marie who took us, wasn't mm. it? Mm. Marie from France, Marie Rouget. Marie Riger, yeah. Rouget. And we, we got the bus down. I had to run after it because the people that were taking her thought I was in too bad a condition to take. Yes, he wasn't a, a they good thought I was a gone case, so there's no point in, in me going. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we, we went there, and uh, on the way there, I, I certainly felt like um, terrified. Mm -hmm. I had no idea why, because they just said it was their yoga teacher who didn't do exercises. And I thought, well, that's a shame, because I'm quite good at those. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and on the way there, my feet were walking because I couldn't run away, but my heart was running, running yeah. you know, and I didn't know why I was so terrified. So we, we went to this flat and uh, had to leave our shoes, which was unusual for us, you know. And from my point of view, we just walked in the room and I thought, oh my goodness, she's a goddess. And you I never instance. ever thought such a thought. Yeah. Yeah. It's just what came to my mind. Mm -hmm. And we were told to sit down, and so my, Marie said, just put your hands out. So I sat down, put my hands out, and um, when Mother saw Pat... No, that, that was when I, just after that, she asked us to come up and work on us, and, and she put her hand on me and said, uh, this one's sick. <laughs> this was my, my first uh, she introduction. She said, he's got six months to live. What have you been doing to yourself? Mm. Mm. Yes, and basically said I'd exhausted all the possible ways of damaging my chakras and uh, one thing and another. But uh, when, I, when I walked in the room, I mean, I, I was in a bad state, but I was also quite aware of other dimensions of consciousness because of all the things I'd been doing. Mm. And uh, I walked in the, in the room expecting a yogi lady with a kind of quiet atmosphere and maybe someone tinkling a bell in the background or something, and instead uh, she mentioned he was telling someone off very forcefully, a Sikh chap. Yes. And um, I immediately, the thing that came into my head when I when I walked in was, wow, uh, this is this must have been what it was like to to come across Christ teaching in the marketplace. And then I I thought, what do you mean? You know, I, what's all this? Where's that come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And then I felt I just felt like the whole room was full of light, and 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 I felt I'd I'd walked off a jungle pathway onto a big highway and, and whatever it was I, I just felt wow this is whatever this is this is this is what I'm looking for and um, it went from there really. Yes and mother came she actually came and saw us as well. She after, saw you. Yeah she, she sort of got up and walked and she said to me how do you feel do you feel anything in your hands I said, no how do you feel and I said I feel something in my hands it was just like my attention I said, oh, oh, I feel it. She said, may God bless you, you got it. And I said, I've got it. I had no idea what I got, but I got it. And uh, she said later that for six months she pinned my kundalini up because it was so wobbly. And I was just there for six months as a protection, really, you know. Well, with me, she, she asked uh, for some water and someone gave her a, a bottle uh, that they'd filled with water. And then she... she took the bottle in her hand, turned around, and, and I saw her open the door into this huge kind of atomic f furnace. There was just this blinding light, and she put the bottle in, took it out, turned around and gave it to me, and I, I kind of... I didn't question it at the time. It, it just was so amazing. I was just sort of gazing, you know, sort of stunned at it. But afterwards, uh, I wondered if she'd actually done those physical motions, uh, you know, turn around, because that's what I saw, that's what I experienced. And... Um, uh, and she gave me this vibrated water, which uh, was amazing. Uh, and um, what was it? Oh, yes, she turned around and blew me a kiss as she left. 